Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you an updated feature of Google Slides and Google Forms and how this feature works together and why you might want to use it. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I have my demo slides here, my demo of embedded charts, and obviously I don't have a chart in my slide yet. And you've long been able to go into a Google form, choose your responses tab, and then copy the chart that's provided, go back to your Google Slides, right click and paste in your chart. And in this case here, I'm going to link it to the form. Let's paste that in. And now I have my chart right here in the form. Or, right here in these slides based on the responses to the form. Now, what's new is this. If we get some more responses to this form, let's say we get a couple more responses to this form here. And let's do one more. So far, no one's voted for Pizza Palace. So let's add that one in there. Good. And let's do one more. What the heck? Let's put a vote in for Bob's Seafood for lunch. Now, we see here there's an updated chart. And here in the chart, in the slide, I can just hit update. And now we have this updated chart right here in the slide. I don't have to copy and paste it again. This is great if you're trying to do a quick survey on the fly and you want to show the results in a slide format, you could do it this way. Now I'll give you another example of this. Let's go here and hit new slide. And I have another chart here with a much longer survey. And I'm going to say I want to just copy this chart here. I'm going to copy that one. And I'm going to right click and paste that one in there. And now I have this chart here. Now let's say I have some people who fill this out a little bit later than the rest. And we'll say here that I teach fifth grade. And I put in a vote for beginner. And we'll put these in here. And I'll say no, 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 and submit that. And now we'll go over here and we see the update for the chart. And there's my update right there in the chart. Now I should point out this also works with Google Documents. Let's create a new document. Let's go to docs.new. Let's create a new document. And if I were to insert my chart from that form, it will update as well. So let's take a look at that. We're going to paste that in there. Just right click, pasted it in. And again, let's say I want to do the, where do we want to have lunch? Let's copy that one. And let's paste that in. And let's say that someone votes a little bit later on this one. And here I can update this chart again, right there in the document without having to copy and paste it again. So that's the new feature of Google Forms and Slides and Docs and how they all work together. If you don't see this feature in your Google account quite yet, be patient, it'll show up very soon. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.